Your pointer's motor uses two carbon brushes to conduct electricity to the armature. The brushes do this through the armature's commutator. The carbon brush will wear down over time from rubbing against the rotating commutator and will need to be replaced. Worn brushes can cause excessive sparks around the commutator. The sparks can also be caused by a damaged armature, so you'll want to carefully inspect both if sparks are present. Replacing the carbon brushes is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the top cover from the planer. It's secured with four screws. I can use the wrench that came with the planer for replacing the knives to remove these screws. Now remove the brush cover on the rear of the planer. I rotate the screw just about a quarter of a turn and the cover will come off. With the cover removed, now I'll remove the first brush. I'll unscrew the brush cap and then pull the brush away from the motor. To install the first brush, I'll line it with the brush holder Insert the brush into the brush holder and at the same time aligning these tabs with the opening in the holder. Then I'll hold the brush in place as I replace the brush cap. And I'll secure the cap with a screwdriver. and now I can replace the cover. Now I'll replace the brush on the other side of the motor. Again, I'll remove the brush cap and then I can pull the brush away from the motor. And I'll install the new brush the same way. Again, aligning the tabs with the brush holder and holding it in place as I install the cap. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the cover. And that's all it takes to install a new brush and spring in your planer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.